In this video, I want to explain the idea of, of a replicating machine. It's the idea like on Star Trek. First I'm going to explain one little thing, the idea of a spaceship, extraterrestrial spaceships. See this? A computer mouse, okay? Just There'll be some little details maybe with what I'm explaining and maybe you'll understand what I mean by that. I'm awake in eight-dimensional Arcturian. Gone through extensive hypnosis. I remember the vastness of creation, the vastness of extraterrestrials, consciousnesses, you know, where you have the conscious size of a of a galaxy, this conscious size of a universe. Now, to explain the idea of a replicating machine. We'll start with some very basics. Um, the idea of turning, uh, uh, taking water out of salt, let's say, or converting the salt in the water to another component, another mineral, let's say. So we can start with the basic technology uh, behind quantum physics and, the, and really uh, the future of our technology uh, people say, oh, Tesla. Well, yes, but the real father of all of this is Dr. Royal Rife. He invented a thing called a spectrometer and bioresonance healing. By the way, this is a bioresonance healing machine right here. It uh, uses frequencies. Now you can hook it to uh, like a ray tube so that it's light energy. It's more effective for curing cancers and everything, but everything has its own frequency. How, why this company is called uh, Spooky 2. Well, the reason they call it Spooky 2 is because it runs through, um, um, you can do it remotely. So you can put your fingernail in this and you can run the frequency remotely. But when you understand the field of the universe and creation and other universes, you understand how all of this works because everything's connected and shared. Because everything is connected, you connect to anything you want. Do remote viewing, remote view anywhere you want in the universe. So the idea is the basics behind one of these uh, frequency generators. You have different waveforms. Uh, so you take this idea of a spectrometer and you'll find out that salt has its own frequency. So the idea is you can put the frequency uh, through a ray tube, as in light, uh, as in a frequency of like a, a, like a radio wave, carrier wave, and it can go in and vibrate the salt in a container, and the salt would slowly separate and sink to the bottom, and you draw off the water from the top. The other thing is you could take, and you could use more than one uh, uh, wave um, frequency, you can have the frequency of salt to isolate that from the water and then maybe another one for the water and then another one can come in with another mineral. Well, you say, how can you transform one mineral to the other? Well, one of the greatest experiments that have been repeated many times is they take a, they'll take a, a frog egg and a salamander egg and shine a light through it through a prism, like through a crystal, and it'll turn the... the salamander egg into a frog egg. Well, how is this possible? Well, it's because everything is holographic, everything is energy. We just have to learn how to use it and transform it. If you really understand anything about creation, you just look around you, everything is always transforming, everything's changing into something else. But one chemical reaction with another chemical or certain conditions change it to one thing. This is how we have lots of chemistry laboratories explaining all these things. But it's also, energy can do this. Plants recognize minerals in the soil by paramagnetic activity. They, they sense it by the energy that that mineral has. It, it seeks it out and finds it. But it works on energy once you understand all of these things. So this is the idea of, of a replication machine, the very basics of it. So we can start off with some very basic things. Um, just using the right combination of frequencies, um, vibrations, um, to separate, say, salt from water. 
and that's, you know, that's something we really need. It's a good place to start. And by the way, you have different levels of extraterrestrials. I have all this, many other videos explaining how loving and caring they are. And all they want to do is create and share. So different levels and whatever levels, always higher levels and levels and higher levels and higher levels and all the higher up all the way to the top. And it's always, and all the levels are always looking out and if one makes a mistake there's always another one higher to come in to make sure that everything in creation flows properly. So there's always levels up there. We're at the point now where uh, we can handle this technology, we can learn how to use this technology, especially uh, you know, to help build nature, to terraform the Sahara Desert um, by creating fresh water. Uh, all you need, you got heat there, you got everything, minerals, you got everything you need. You just need water and seeds, that's all you need. So this is a good place to start. And because you go looking for this and something that we need, um, we have lots of higher levels of conscious beings that will help us get the answers to the questions that we ask. One of the best ways is when you read Dolores Cannon's books about hypnosis like that, the idea that she does. All, a lot of other hypnosis are doing the same thing now anyways, but when you understand these things, I myself, I hypnotize myself every day and I awaken to these higher levels and I understand all these things just remembering as well as you know their ETs are just waiting for us to contact them and there's other ways I can show in other videos really the fast way of doing this if you really want you can bypass a lot of things if you like but this is the idea of using uh, frequencies of energy to transform it. And it can be one frequency followed by another frequency or two or three different frequencies combined to just uh, to make basic uh, to things like separate salt from water. Anyways, I hope you watch all my other videos about extraterrestrials, crop circles, all kinds of technology stuff about the changes in business. I'm, I'm here. My job was to come here and help explain all these things. I'm getting into a lot more details maybe than a lot of other people are. It's just because we need that. This is my job at the right time I'm supposed to explain these things. So I hope this is helpful to you. Thank you.